How's it going, everybody? So, um, just got something else that I noticed today to share with everybody. It's mostly my mates and things like that. But, um, yeah, anybody else is interested as well. It's my baby right there. Um, yeah, the whole argument between RAW and JPEG. And before I bought my camera, um, I looked at this and, yeah, like a lot of people were saying, there's nothing wrong with JPEG, it's actually quite good and all this and that. But, just reviewing some of the photos that I've taken, and I don't think my photos are that good. But, even from my photos, I can definitely tell a difference between RAW and JPEG, which is this one. You can see this one's RGB, high quality. This one is raw, and um, yeah, I can like. First of all, you can definitely tell the difference just from the um. Minimize this. The previews themselves. What I did, I set the camera to record a raw file and a JPEG file of the same uh, photo. So basically, it was dumping raw and then JPEG as well of every single shot and this probably won't appear on the camera because that's its own different quality but oh, you can, I can sort of see it in the LCD here so maybe it will, you'll see it on thing as well that raw file looks a lot sharper and brighter and not as smeared and just seem, the colors seem more vibrant whereas in this one they're a bit washed out, there, there's a lot of detail in the lighting gone and the, some of the edges aren't really all there and um, I'll show you what I mean when I zoom, when I bring these two photos back up this one so again this is the raw file and this is the JPEG and you can sort of see in lighting here and slightly around here you can see how it's fading whereas on this one you can see a lot more of the light actually give that contour to that piece and you can see how little a lot less light is on there so there is a lot of lighting detail at least that gets missed out you know, this is basically like these dots here is the light directly bouncing back to the camera on that, those angles. And yet on this one, they're still there, but they're not as defined. They're actually just quite smeared and it's, yeah, I'm convinced just based on these few photos that I've been taking today, definitely convinced that uh, going raw is the way to go no matter what camera well I guess I can't say that I've only used the 50D so at least I know on the 50D EOS right there um, raw files is the way to go um, I don't mind editing and playing around in the background on the computer later on that's actually quite a part of the fun making some cool images and double exposures and HDR that I've tried to be getting into and such so yeah, um, yeah, just thought I'd share that. Thanks for watching guys, see you later.